So the next couple examples are easy enough that I'm not going to do code demonstrations. I'm just going to show you the output. A histogram is easy enough. You just do type equals histogram and you need one X variable. It show it, it looks like this. The, it'll actually show you the, heart, the height of the bars um, as you move, move your mouse along. And you can change the colors, do side-by-side -side histograms, and a variety of other things in Plotly, and they kind of all work in the, in the obvious way. So for a box plot here, Plotly, data frame is iris in this case, uh, y is petal length, and then color is species and type equals box. So this is going to create separate box planks, bo box plots, one for each species type. Okay, and here it is our three species. When you hover over the box, it gives you the values for the box plot. So this is the, the 25th percentile, the 75th percentile, the median, and then the whiskers extend out to 1.5 times the distance between these two values. That was Tukey's idea. That references back to the normal distribution, the 1.5 times the interquartile range. Um, so, uh, you know, here's your box plot. If you have an outlier like this, it'll actually show you the little point for the outlier. Okay, so this can get a little crowded if it's all squashed together like that one, um, but still nice plot for almost no effort. A heat map, so a heat map is basically just a graphical display of an image. In this case, our image is going to be a matrix that we create. So pretty much all images, all raster images are just um, a matrix, right? They're, they're rows and columns, and then they have the intensity value in the, as, the, as the value for, that, for each specific row and column combination. So in this case, let's just create a simple matrix where we have 100 rows and 100 columns, and we just fill it in with random normals. Okay, and that's what Plotly is expecting for a heat map. Okay, the, the Z is, is just going to be this matrix, and then the type is going to be heat map. Okay, and then when it does that, it plots an image. You know, a heat map is ultimately just an image. Okay, um, just a raster image. Okay, and the, the nice thing about the way Plotly does it is as you move your mouse around, it gives you the X and the Y values and the Z values, the intensity values, and then the intensity values uh, are given a color key here on the right, which is quite nice, so you don't have to set that up. Okay, so that is a pretty easy way to generate a heat map and an interactive one at that. So we could, you can imagine taking that heat map, and what if you wanted to plot Z instead of it, it is, is just color? What if you wanted to plot it pulled up into a third dimension? Well, that would be plotting a surface. So why don't we create the same data set, this time with different random normals, and then our Z is the same thing. Our type is now surface instead of heat map, okay? And so the intensity value is going to be the Z value, and then the row and column values uh, it's just going to assign integers for those are just going to be the um, X and Y values. And then when you do that, you get a nice 3D surface. Now, um, the, you know, whenever you do a 3D surface like this, it's doing some smoothing. Okay, so you need to, to you know, this is just to show you how the commands work. But of course, you know, if you want, if you want to do this for real, you are going to need to actually understand what the smoothing is doing. 